Hello my fellow ROM2 players, the rip here once again in a match between Prussian Prince and Wicked Pirate. We will see Arverne by Prussian Prince against ROM by Wicked Pirate and at this point uh, Prussian Prince is very close to losing the whole match which is best of 5. <laughs> and uh, Wicked Pirate leads 2-1, to one. sorry for that call. Uh, I'm a bit, uh, I shouldn't say sick, but uh, well, not in the best shape. Anyway, let's take a look at builds. Prussian Prince starts with uh, 5 Spear Warriors on the front, uh, Okay, 5 Oath 1 including General, then we have 3 Celtic Skirmishes and 3 Light Horses and 2 Heavy Horses. That's Russian Prince build and uh, you can guess how it's supposed to be played. Mm, spears to stop uh, cavalry and elephants. Um, not sure why they're on the front, probably to stop elephant charge uh, if elephants come. Light cavalry to deal with skirmishes later on. So this cavalry probably will not be w too active. Mm, so we will see how it's played. For Rome, interestingly enough, we see no elephants at all. We see... 6 gladiators with 2 triari, not sure why would you pick triari, 3 triari against Arverni, we will see, 4 praetorian guards, then legatus general, gladiator spearman and 2 praetorian cavalry. So Russian prince needs to make use of his 3 light cavalry somehow, uh, light horses, and uh, well, heavy horses will probably have some use against gladiators. So let's let's see. A lot will be decided here in main engagement, like just how how infantry engagement starts. It will a lot will depend on it. Okay, these guys run forwards to throw their pillars. Okay, everyone getting their orders. Fire arrows. Pillars, counter charges. Okay, actually didn't notice one naked warrior on that flank. So charge, after this charge, fight started. Gladiators will go through their own men, trying to get to enemy. Some of them actually going through the gaps. Hmm. Let's see now. Now this spearman trying to wrap around from behind. Uh, there is only two cavalry units for wicked pirates that Prussian prince need to take care of. In the middle we see this spear warrior already wavering uh, for obvious reasons. Uh, skirmishes? I'm not sure. Th this is clearly Miss Micro. Prussian prince tries to finish this fast uh, from what I can tell. And he makes mistakes. Mm. The middle goes fairly well for Prussian Prince, but in general, like later, obviously these Praetorian Guards will die, but later Gladiators will just uh, win it for a wicked pirate. So Prussian Prince really needs to deliver some rear charges. Mm. He just don't have enough. Hmm. Oz one wa wavering here, another one stays. I think Prussian Prince lost this match here. He just frontally took on a huge infantry force, which simply stronger than his own. Let's see if these uh, heavy horses will make any difference. Maybe these guys? No. Light horses? Could be. Let's see if they can kill any of these gladiators. Okay, at least they delivered that. Oh! Prussian Prince may take it! There is a slight chance. Not a slight. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! They ripped. Calling stuff out too early again. Are you? <laughs> Look at this! Fire javelins with some rear charges from Light Horse, killing 50 gladiators here. Heavy ho uh, 
Hammer and Anvil in its best. Hammer and Anvil with some moral penalties. But man, this was a close game. Guys, I guarantee you, if, the, if this wasn't for these rear charges, Gladiators will just slowly grind down these Osuans. That's my honest belief. <laughs> this turned in an instant. And I have no idea. Like, I have no idea. It was so scary to watch. Uh, I, I guess the fact that General died played its role, but uh, most of uh, Rom um, units, they have discipline. Uh, I guess Praetorian cavalry didn't play the role it should have been. Didn't catch this cavalry. Heavy horse grinned down quite a bit of man. 83 is actually a lot. So cavalry played crucial role. 61 for this uh, light horse. And morale effect from fire javelins. That's cool. That's cool. Well, tiebreaker ahead. See you guys very soon.